Hi everyone, welcome to Architessa. This is your Child Stream and Child Talk with Jenny. I am bringing you guys today organic textures. There is so much to offer and, and you guys know, again, I'm very tactile. I like the sensation, the feeling that all these natural stones bring to any space. So we're going from wood look, stone, marble, and everything in between. So thank you for joining us again today. Starting over here, we have, a, visit our showrooms, please. You know we have a plethora of options in, in wood looking porcelain tiles. Um, kind of in every size format, everything from a four by 12 to an eight by 48, even sometimes a 10 by 48. So we have here, this is our Enigma series. You guys know I bring this out a lot. A few of my clients know because I've also used these in your homes. I like this format, the four by 12. Um, this is the Enigma, the Noir. Um, it's just such a great, the, the Lenio Lakato. Um, such a great texture. I like that kind of slightly waxed wood feel. Um, and then here with the natural series, also a bit of a distress. People like that barn wood, reclaimed barn wood look. And we have that with the old distressed feeling, the hand scraped, aged over time. If you need a bit of a more clean contemporary look, we can easily go. I have here the Enigma series. This is the Enigma in white. Or not the Enigma, I apologize. This is the Estonia. Estonia in white. Here we have, um, the Copper Rose series, and back here is a hidden gem. I love this series. This is, oh my goodness, Danish wood. <laughs> very clean, very soft, more on the modern contemporary side. So we can bring wood look and make it modern contemporary, very beautiful, streamlined, very little to minimal um, knots or, or movement in the tiles. They come in a few different colors, very clean, very soft looking, so pretty. But again, the other ones, the copper rose specifically, bringing a little bit more texture, a little bit more naughtiness, um, natural, very pretty looking. Um, or you could even play with our century wood. This cut piece does not do this guy any justice. This is a cut sample swatch of a 32 by 32 tile. It's got really great dimension, a little bit dusty from being in the showroom. But if you check out on our website, check out the uh, century wood and you will see these great installations. If you've got a nice big room that you need tiled, this is gonna be the piece. It's gonna add drama um, and really, really great texture to the space. I love it. It is absolutely delicious. And you guys have seen in the past, I have shown you our Baywood series. It is natural wood. Imagine if you've got like a butler's pantry that you wanna add a little bit of texture to, an accent wall, a feature wall, um, something like this, it is dimensional. So you are getting the depth out of that. You're gonna see some really great naughtiness on it. Um, they're basically hand flamed, so you know, water resistant, but please don't put them in your showers or in wet areas. Check out any of our five showrooms, Rockville, Bethesda, Baltimore, Vienna, or Alexandria. Ask us about it. Check it out. Um, other shapes and textures too. So please, there's lots to play with here. Um, I'm obsessed. So let me find a space in your home for me to use them. If the wood look, you already been there, done that. We definitely have to bring in your textures here with the hand natural um, clefted slate pieces here. So we see them dimensional very, very rustic. People, you're seeing these outside in exterior kitchens, exterior walls, it's great, no grout needed. Um, imagine your entire fireplace wrapped in this quartz. This is so absolutely beautiful. If you like a bit more of a modern look, here we have it in a white marble with a bit more of a straight crisp edge in a polished finish. So it doesn't always have to be the rustic cladding. You can go to a more modern feel, still getting that depth. Um, so that's a little bit to play with there. Moving on, here we have the pebbles. People have been doing pebbles as shower floors. These are Balinese pebbles um, brought to us and they're sorted and then they're gauged. They actually, this company is fantastic. They take and run all their pebbles through a machine so that way they're all the same thickness. That way when you're having it as your shower floor, you're not stepping and stubbing your toe on some pebble that was you know, on the, on the sheet wrong. And, um, best interlocking technology with this company we also have um oh and we can we can play with the colors so you need something darker more gray brown we have a little bit of anything here we see it in a little bit of some uh onyx paired with some marbles and they've been tumbled this can be a great feature wall accent wall you want to add some texture to any space imagine this in a powder room wall just adding some dimension behind the vanity that could be so absolutely beautiful Alternatively, we can play with this more dimensional piece. This is, you know, gonna be more of a 3D style. Um, 
still wiping coat, still natural stone at the end of the day. So yes, the installer's gonna have a bit of a trickier time installing the grout into this, but yes, it will need to be grouted. But installed, you should still see this really great texture on a wall. People I'm seeing are adding grass cloth texture to walls. Why not bring nature into your home by adding this piece here? I think it's so freaking so nice. Um, those are just a few in the natural stones. If we come over here, here we've got this really great limestone. Um, this is a Belgian blue stone, very, very special, very unique. If people are looking for the Belgian blue stone, it's called They've Seen the Quality. This is absolutely beautiful, breathtaking. You're seeing real bits of fossil throughout all the pieces. Limestone is a sedimentary material, so they were in the beds of old riverbeds and whatnot, or, or lake beds, um, old oceans. And so they just kind of accumulated all these bits and it was compressed over time and compacted to make us this gorgeous natural stone. Here we see a piece of tumbled travertine. Travertine is also a sedimentary material, but this was in a place where there were fissures underground that created bubbles as trying to escape under the earth's um, crust. And so it made all these bubbles. I always call it the Swiss cheese effect. Um, and so you have all these fissures, but when installed, you can either have it installed just like this and have the grout going in between the joints. A little bit harder for the installer, but if he seals it correctly, seal it twice, install it, seal it again, and then go to grout, he can probably get most of the grout out of those holes, but normally people like that filled in look because I couldn't imagine having dirt getting trapped in there over the years. But installed, this is absolutely beautiful either way you go. Coming over here, we have natural slate. This is our in-stock slate from our Lauren Lease collection. This is black brush slate. It is absolutely delicious. If you were to get this wet or with an enhancing sealer, it would come in into a darker black, almost as black as this board here. But I brought out these two exceptional slates, also in the Brazilian family, but you have green and purple. People think, um, you have to go with natural, or, or what they think of natural colors, you know, the grays and the whites and the blacks in terms of slate. No, there's colors, my friends. There are some great, great colors. So I've actually done a sunroom in the purple recently um, in an eight by eight, just to make it a little bit funky and fresh. Really, really pretty. This is really great. You can get it in the natural cleft. The surface could be brushed. They could be tumbled or they could be antiqued. So we have a lot to play with, even within one basic stone. And finally, I'm gonna bring you guys this gorgeous piece of marble. This is a brecciated marble. I can go on and on, um, but this was being made underground for millions of years, and it was started making this one type of stone. And then there was a shift in the plates in the Earth's crust, and then it started making a different type, and it finished making it into a marble. So this is not your basic, you know, really pretty, just veiny marble. This was trying to be one thing and then evolved into something else. This to me is so incredibly special. Please ask us about this. This is the Capri Polished Brecciated Marble. So beautiful. I have it here paired with um, our in-stock Calicutta Gold one inch hexagon or in the Soldier Brick. I just think that's a pretty compliment. Um, but again, in terms of textures, you can take your basic colors and do them in really great shapes. And then you're gonna get a texture across your wall. That's just absolutely incredible. Playing off the hexagons, I like seeing this piece here. You guys know I'm a fan of color, so I like playing with textures and colors and repeating patterns, but imagine this on a wall. This would just create such a great shift, such a great pattern. Alternatively, we can go into this piece here that has the lilac marble, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. Actually, several of us here in the showroom are obsessed with this lilac marble. Um, but this creates, again, a bit of that cloth look on a wall. Um, so from a distance, I just find that absolutely spectacular in a matte finish, but it would add such life to any space. Imagine a powder room floor, master bath, shower wall, one whole wall featuring this with the lilac marbles, so beautiful. Or again, playing with a more simple pattern, but with the Bianco Dolomite marble, I think this is just absolutely beautiful. Basic, simple, clean, but adding a lot of texture to any space. So that's organic textures. That is it for your Tile Talk with Ginny. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of our fun textures. Until next time, bye.